Alright, today uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make some matcha tea. So here we have our matcha bowl or cup and uh, tea kettle set to approximately um, 160 degrees and uh, this midpoint here is about 180 so just try to get it as lo approximately around six, 160 degrees as possible. And we have our uh, tea whisk right here and our, excuse me, matcha tea. You know, it's uh, you could get it in your local, you know, uh, Asian market. It's a powder form, obviously, and uh, oh yeah, that's right. You also need, um, let's see, oh here it is. You need a matcha spoon, which is this, it's a bamboo spoon. Okay, let's get started. So we want to set the water to 160 degrees. Whoops, and wait for that. And while that's uh, trying to uh, warm the water, make sure your bowl is nice and um, dry before you start putting in the matcha. So when you put in the matcha, you open the lid right here, and you get about two. Sp tea, uh, two spoonfuls of matcha and you put it through the strainer right here Let's get one, one more spoon there there now the reason for putting it through the strainer is that you want to get out as much of the clumps in here as possible so we shake it a bit And, and it's important to get get these get this as fine as possible in the bottom of this cup. And once once most of the um, bits are left in here, uh, you could you hit you know hit this with this spoon and make sure all the matcha has gotten out of this um, filter right here. All right. I should also mention, I guess, that this is a very untraditional way of making matcha and uh, I'm probably doing something wrong. In fact, I know I'm doing something wrong, so I don't really care what everybody thinks about this way of preparing matcha. It works for me. Alright, so we got... Okay, we got most of the solids, some of the matcha out of there. See the filter right there is pretty much clean. And if you look inside the bowl, you see the matcha is in a very fine pattern, and it's uh, no clumps or balls left in it. All right, the water's finished, so we're gonna pour in about as much, uh, about a quarter of a cup in there, which I'll show you how much is it goes to. Up to around there. See how much water that is. And um, we're gonna take our whisk and whisk in a circular pattern. Whoops. You can do this in any any bowl or uh, cup. It's just a little bit easier to do it in this special matcha cup because you, it allows you to move around and uh, do the whisking. I even tried doing this with a spoon, but it didn't really get the same result. You kind of need the whisk for to make the frothiness on the top. Do it pretty vigorously. Get in the, get it completely dissolved. All 
Right, that's about it. It's not that hard. I know I made this video because I noticed in some other videos they made it sort of excessively hard to make matcha and it really shouldn't be that way. You see you have your nice froth on the top there and it's pretty much ready. You can enjoy it right now. Alright, well that's how you make matcha. Uh, please rate or subscribe this video, thanks.